In yeah. five, four, three, two, action. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Konnichiwa. Konbanwa. Drasvicha. Anyways, we are the Food Heroes. This is Kushi. Hi, guys. I'm Ahmad. And uh, Kushi has done us a favor of ordering some pizza from Big Chef Tony's. Yeah, they have uh, Detroit-style pizza. Yeah. It's actually not bad. This is a choice style? The like choice deep style, dish? Yeah. It's not deep dish, it's like square and it's a thin crust. Thin crust. But lots of cheese. This is but like yeah, this is cheese. technically like a deep dish yeah. cut. Like they All right, let's dig in. Cook it in a tin pan or whatever. You go back. So try it while I was actually going to try the pepperoni, but that's fine. Okay, I'll take this. No, one. no, no. no you, if you, you know yeah, I'll take this. All right, one. fine. Yeah. And I'll take a pepperoni. Let's give it this. Because it's my favorite. All right. You look at it, guys. Look yeah. Oh at yeah, this. and this ghost right here, <laughs> um, the demigod Batman. Ooh. Ooh, here, guys. And we have some pasta from last night, mm -hmm. al dente, and uh, some ribs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rib, uh, short, short ribs. All right, let's dig in. And for our drinks today, we have watermelons. That's the first watermelon of the season for us. Yeah. And it turned out to be super good. Sweet. Super good, it's super good, super sober. Mm. Oh, oh like yeah, oh yeah. And I'm gonna dip my. Uh, they give you tomato sauce on the side, guys. Oh, so it's sweet and savory, mm. just like you like. You wanna try it? Mm -mm. Here, you try. I'll have a little. No, try with the sauce right now. Mm -mm. You have to try right now. Mm -mm. Yeah, done. You won't regret it. Mm. You see? So good. See? This cheese pizza is yummy. It's very cheesy. It actually does uh, remind you of like Wisconsin Detroit vibe because they eat a lot of cheese there. Yeah. Mm. So this will be. This will be my first um, Detroit style pizza. I always had New York pizzas. And have you tried Chicago style? Dip dish? No, I never had Chicago. Mm. We didn't have pizza when we were in Chicago, did we? Uh -uh. Whole, I don't like time. Chicago style pizza. It's too. What's wrong with it? It's like too much, it's too greasy and too heavy for me. What's the difference between? Because it's dip dish and it's like a lot of stuffing. A lot of stuff. Like it's a lot of cheese, everything. I don't know. I'm sorry. Chicago and Chicago style lovers. Pizza I mean, lovers. What's the difference between this and Chicago pizza? Mm, the dough is different. This dough is delicious. Right? It's so soft. I mean, it's crispy on the top, but it's not too... It's not hard. Mm -hmm. yeah. So mm, I love it. You give yourself a a country smile. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a country smile. So you guys, uh, apparently it's a mental health month this month. Um, I was reminded of that today at work actually. So. This is news mm. to me. I didn't know that. Yeah. I mean, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> Mental health is important. Um, your, your physical health, too. Don't choke. <coughs> yeah. So, yeah. Take time to Forgot. slow down. Take your mental health days off yeah. if you need. Talk about stuff. Don't talk about stuff. Take time to yourself. It was Turn food. the radio down in the car sometimes and reflect on your decisions, you know. Don't let the negative stuff overpower the positive and all those things, you know. You know what's best for you. So <laughs> take advantage of that mental health. It's very important. We Goshi. want you to stick around for a while, you know. I love you, Goshi, yeah. All jokes aside. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And the weather is beautiful today, guys. I'll get a paper towel. Yeah. 
like also, you know, to be in mental health, you know, I don't want to use names or examples, but uh, recently I had to deal with uh, a mental crisis. I didn't mention it because I try to keep stuff like that. It's like HIPAA, whatever. Anyways, um, I'll just say I had to deal with a mental crisis and uh, it's, it's crazy to see someone go from seemingly normal to just spaced out. Yeah. Like the brain is, is this uh, powerful instrument and uh, when you don't take care of it and it crashes, you, you crash. You yeah. crash hard, you know? And it could cause you to do things to hurt yourself. Yeah. No bueno. So I mean, what what did people do to to like um, highlight or like uh, not really celebrate, but recognize mental mental health month? Mm. A lot of employers like hire yoga teachers, meditation teachers, so like wellness, mindfulness events. I guess like they address it at work maybe and stuff. Hmm. You know, it's funny because nobody, nobody mentions that in you know, my job either. Like I stopped one guy today. Maybe I was out of place for saying it, but uh, you, know, you look you look tired, you know. And it's it's our job to mm -hmm. to notice things like that. Mm -hmm. And I told him, I said, um, man, you uh, he really looked like burnt out. I was like, man, you uh, you look tired. You look like you need some rest. And his his response was, oh, um, I look how I look. Yeah. And like very 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 snappy, and you know, he yeah. took offense to it. I'm just like, ah, you know, I'm not. I said, I hope you didn't take offense to that. Yeah. I don't mean physical appearance. I don't care about yeah. how you look. But I said, you 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 need to. You look like you need to take care of yourself, man. <laughs> well, so now I'm just like, you go. You're not gonna be any good to yourself here. Yeah. So I said, you need. I told, I told him. I said, you need to take that uh that personal time. Mm -hmm. I said, you know, we'll try to perk up. Mm -hmm. And just went about his day. I also, I think a part of it too is if you see something, you know, say something. Or yeah. Even if you don't get in the person, just ask people how they're doing. You know, you never know if it could, could go a long way. Mm -hmm. So it's got a lot to do with <coughs> mental health. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I'm glad it's being addressed these days because, yeah, like even I have sometimes days when I feel very down. Yeah. You know, it happens. Life is overwhelming, but I think we just have to recognize it and be nice towards ourselves, you know, like you don't have to be strong and hard on yourselves all the time. And deadlines are not everything. <laughs> You said deadlines? Yeah. Because mm. I think like a lot of people are stressed about deadlines, you know, in the college, work and everything. It's nice to hit them, but it's not the end of the world, guys. Yeah. So let's have some pasta. Pasta. Yeah, we uh are... are you gonna have a rib? No. Oh. <coughs> Sorry guys, I am coughing uh, and I also like, I was talking to my other client today, uh, not too much, but uh, I'll just eat from oh, that cheese. Yeah, it's fresh mozzarella. But apparently this season, if you're having allergies, uh, they're more severe um, and a lot of people are experiencing it. So if you just have like random cough, like you don't have any fever, you feel uh, down, it may be allergies. And uh, yeah, it's seasonal, so it shall pass too. Do you think what you're experiencing is um, a side effect of allergies right now? Yeah. Because like, I feel like some, like some dust stuck in here. Oh yeah. But yeah, when I talk, 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 and it comes out, like now it's right here, like, but I'm controlling it. Could be some built-up pollen too. Yeah. So. I don't know. So uh, maybe we need to get you. Uh, Benadryl. Does that work for you? I have some 
stuff from Costco. Yeah, this sauce is yummy. The sweet sauce, right? Mm -hmm. It kind of reminds you like <laughs> Filipino spaghetti style. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, last year, the allergies had me really bad. Like, um, I would feel almost like, like when I used to smoke in my teenage years. Now, you guys they didn't know that, they know now. Mm -hmm. um, whenever I cough up, you know, mucus or something, uh, it would feel like a little blood in it or something like that, you know, like just, mm -hmm. I don't know, like, um, I mix between, but, but anyways, as an example, the allergies or the pollen would cause this effect. Down goes no, no, um, down, stay down. It was like a mix of like, felt like dust mixed with um, liquid or mm -hmm. something, you know, it just, yeah. this year. There's allergies. Yeah, this year, I'm, I'm not, um, I'm not, a, I haven't been affected by it. That's good. But last year. Uh, it was terrible during this time and uh, the year before that. Yeah, so. Mm. Yay, I'm so happy. It's the uh, beginning of watermelon season. Watermelon corn. Amazing. Corn and watermelon. Baby, yeah. Guys, Ghosty loves watermelon, so. <laughs> He's super excited under the table in hopes of getting. You can't stay at one, please. Mm -hmm. I want some watermelon, baby. Yeah. Give me my water melon. Would you like a piece, Ghost? Here, let's get it. Oh, oh, well, there it is. Make sure we wipe after because it's going to be sticky. Can you get that up, man? <laughs> Off the floor. <laughs> mm. I think I can kill half of the watermelon myself in one sitting. But then it's gonna be. Yeah, you're gonna many be bloated trips. afterwards, too. Not a trip to the bathroom, bathroom. afterwards. I don't know if I'm bloated afterwards, but yeah, definitely bathroom. And sometimes, like <coughs> when you sleep, it's very annoying to get up many times to the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. So, hope everyone is doing great, guys. We are just having regular late night dinner. Um, it's been a busy day for both of us. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching us. Um, if you're new to our channel, join us. You're welcome. Uh, let's enjoy watermelons and pizzas and lots of yummies together. And watch Ahmad <coughs> being goofy. No, I'm throwing up watermelon signs. It's up out the streets in here right so now, they baby. Put, they say they put brick cheese on the pizza. Wisconsin brick, brick cheese. cheese. I don't know what, mm. is, what does brick cheese mean. I have to look that up. I know Wisconsin's favorite, uh, famous for cheese, though. Yeah. Like, they you have know, like the Green Bay Packers mm -hmm. with the cheese heads, you know? Yeah. Mm. They have like. Um, my favorite stuff from Wisconsin is the cheese curds. They're amazing. Like, I love it. Mm. Have you ever tried? Oh, why don't you show them the curd? Oh, maybe the word curd came from curd. Maybe. Yeah. You show them the, the curd. They're like little cheese balls. They said cheese balls. This is a big uh, Central Asian. Um, Eastern Cozy. European thing that do, 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 do in Eastern Europe too? Oh no. No, this so is Central, like Central Asia. Asia. And so these are little cheese balls. <coughs> and they're really good with uh, beer. Beer. Or yeah. just by themselves, you know. And you just. Kids eat it as snacks back home. Yeah. Buy them. You know, yeah. It's like uh, cheese, right? It is cheese. Yeah. 
Yeah. But, uh, it's, like it's, a, so it's got like a sourdough taste to it, almost if you had like sourdough no, pretzels. it's more like a sour matzah, uh, uh, parmesan cheese. <laughs> sour matzo, you think? It's, uh, parmesan. Sour palm. Yeah. Because it's hard, parm is hard, fatty. Goshi. <laughs> Probably yeah. believe that. Um, oh, I think you would have described the taste as a sharp, like a sharp taste. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. sharp cheese, but. Yeah. Yeah, that. Sour and then the cheese. consistency of it is like parm. Yeah. It's like a parmesan ball, but it's mm -hmm. a little sour, sharp. It's and, delicious. Uh, but a lot of Americans don't like it. <laughs> Like milky. Yeah, like I was so surprised when Ahmad tried it and it. he looked, liked it. I was like, oh. Absolutely love him. <laughs> yeah. so apparently, yeah. um, our other American friends just aren't, aren't no. fond of them at all. No. You know? But many Americans don't like Iran. They don't understand the idea of I love Iran yogurt. too. Yeah. This one is. Uh, but I like. <laughs> I have a taste for salty things. Like I used to eat like salt by itself as a snack like as, as a kid yeah i would just or take the like salt so shaker ghost down, down down maybe i would down. just take the salt shaker and you can take it anymore <coughs> we're gonna give you a few cubes and put it in your bowl yeah all right so just sit down and be patient sit down and, and be wait patient okay <laughs> if you want to treat good boy yes very good boy give me a paw Mm, good, good job. Good job. <coughs> Paw. 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 He's Paw. like, you're not giving me any treats. Good. <laughs> good hey, it was good All right. So, um, like Christmas, we're going to wrap this up with a giant sit down bowl. Mm -hmm. And. Um, with a giant sit down. <laughs> with a giant sit down. Yeah. So, ghosts and uh, Kushi and I, we appreciate you coming. All three of us collectively, we make the food heroes. Food heroes of the world combined, ready to take on any type of food in the universe. Go, food heroes! <laughs> Go! <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. All right, like, share, and subscribe if you like the videos, and uh, check you out next time. Bye.